The whole tragedy starts with the girls. In my eyes, the girls were the worst. They have been the first victims. In 2017, I contacted Edith Grossman in order to film a documentary about the first Jewish transport to Auschwitz, which she was on. That transport was made up of 999 young women, most of whom were teenagers like Edith. I was living in a small Slovakian city. We were 6,000 citizens there, about 60% Jews, and uh, we were in very good relations with the non-Jews. It was a real democracy. Thanks to Edith's extraordinary enthusiasm and generosity, I ended up writing a book about the girls on her transport as well. But our first conversation was on FaceTime. Ever, you sent me a, the first email like a bomb from all of a sudden I had a June. Who is this Heather June? And today I have, I don't know, 20 males and, and your face also. For the 75th anniversary ceremonies in Poprad, Slovakia, Edith traveled with her granddaughter, Naomi. Natania in Israel uh, on the, by the beach, there is a beautiful park. 
and you know the the sky was so beautiful blue and the and the sea the mediterranean the sea was so green blue and on the horizon i saw so a, a, a release something so beautiful and then i said to my sister i know where god is sitting i saw the place where god is sitting you know and I I would like the world to feel these feelings. It's so a nice feeling of peace and of beauty. Are you and you want to see how I am giving a kiss? <laughs> Are you excited? Edith did not live to see every edition of 999. But her spirit is imbued in every page of the book and every minute of our documentary. What was my purpose on this earth? Was I important at all? So, I wish you a good night. You go to bed. Thank you so I much. I'm already in bed the time that you are now. <laughs> So, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Shalom. Bye-bye. Okay.